On September 17, 1989, St. Croix was hit by Hurricane Hugo. This was the most destructive hurricane to hit St. Croix in more than a century. Hurricane Hugo hit St. Croix as a Category 5 with winds over 200 miles per hour. Eight tornado tracks were identified and played a large part in the destruction. It is estimated that over 90% of St. Croix was completely destroyed. 14,000 of the island's 16,000 utility poles were damaged and more wires were along the ground and roads than were suspended. A 15-foot tidal surge beached many boats and sank many others. The scene at Sunny Isle could have been mistaken for Christmas or Black Friday, if not for all the destruction everywhere. From the looters' perspective, it was time for the poor and exploited to take back from the rich. Because of this, supplies and food became extremely scarce as it took weeks to be able to get any kind of ship with supplies in. Only one grocery store remained untouched as the owners stood on the roof with guns keeping looters back. After one looter was shot, people left the store alone. They partially opened up two weeks later with people waiting hours to get in. A state of emergency was immediately declared. Four days after the storm, 1,100 Army troops, who were mostly military police as well as 170 FBI agents and federal marshals, arrived and put the island into a state of martial law. This was the first time that Army troops had been used to quell a civil disturbance since 1968 following the assassination of Reverend Martin Luther King. Coast Guard cutters arrived to evacuate stranded vacationers and residents. For many people on island, it was six to nine months before they had electricity. 